Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn the difference between trim and strip methods of string class. Trim method is available since beginning, but strip method was added since Java 11. And if you read the Java doc for both the methods, then you will have understanding like both the methods are same, but which is not. Let me show you the Java doc description of both the methods first. So let's see the Java doc for trim method. It says that it will return a string with all leading and trailing spaces removed. Let's go to Java doc of strip method. So for the strip method, it says that it will return a string with all leading and trailing white spaces removed. So if you don't know the difference between space and white space then you will have understanding like both the methods are same. But before we go and learn the difference we need to learn some basics. First we need to know what is Unicode character. So Unicode is an international character encoding standard that provides a unique number for every character across languages and scripts, making almost all characters accessible across platforms, programs and devices. We have so many languages and in every language, characters are represented in some way. If I take my native language as an example, which is Hindi. If I go to Unicode chart, here we can see for each language, we have some dedicated numbers or range. So if I go to Devanagari, which is Hindi, in, and if I click on this, it will show you all the unique numbers assigned to each and every character found in Hindi. Similarly, if you see the basic Latin, you can see here we have the unique number for special characters. Then we have numbers, right? capital A, capital B and similarly small a, small b, everything we will have. So for all these characters, we have a unique code that is nothing but called Unicode characters. So suppose I need to use this character in my Java program. So one way we have, you can copy this character and use in your program directly. Let me show you the example quickly. This out and put the character here. And if I run the program, I will see the same character as an output. Instead of this specific character, we can use the Unicode character as well. If I want to use this in Java, then copy it, use the sysout, use the single quotes and paste it here. But we need to escape this one. So you need to remove this first two characters and we need to use the escape character with U. This will say that, okay, this is a Unicode character. If I run this, I will get the output same as above. So now we have basic understanding of Unicode characters. Now let's go back to Java doc description of both the methods. So the Java doc of trim method says that it will remove the spaces where space is defined as any character whose code point is less than or equal to 0020. If I copy this number and go to Unicode chart and search here. So here you can see we have some character which is represented as empty. We don't see anything. That's why we consider it as space. So it's saying that trim method will remove all the spaces which are less than this number. So from 0 to 32, if we have any space character and we use in our code, then that will be removed using the trim method. Let me show you an example. So here you can see that we have one string and I have given some spaces and I'm just giving some right and left arrow just to show you how a space is truncated and I will call the trim method on this middle string. If I run this program, it will remove all the trailing and leading spaces. You can see the output is without any space. Here I use the space bar directly. I can use this Unicode character as well. So let me copy and use in my string. So I need to use the escape sequence u then this value. Again I will copy and I can use after amod. If I run this program it will remove the space again. So why trim method is able to remove the space because the value of this is less than 32 or less than this value. But actually we have so many space characters. If you simply search for it we have so many space. Here you can see appearance is like nothing. This will be called as space. If I copy this one n squared and I use in my string, let me duplicate this line and I will use this Unicode character this time. And let's see whether trim method removes those spaces or not. You can see here trim method will not remove that space. Why? Because the value is greater than the maximum Unicode limit defined by trim method. If you see the Java doc, it clearly says that whose code point is less than or equal to 0020. But here we are using some 2000. That's why it is not able to remove the space. That's why we have a new method called strip and it will remove all those spaces easily. Let me duplicate this line and let me call the strip method instead of trim method. Let me run the program and you can see strip method has easily removed the space. Let me show you some internal logic used by strip method. This strip method is actually using one 
method from character class is white space. So this white space method will determine if the specified character is a white space according to Java. So we have some rules like any character will be called a white space character. If it is like space separator, line separator, paragraph separator, and then we have some values here. So I will copy this name and go to this website. You can simply search in Google also, you will give you the result. If you search for that Unicode character, it will give you like we have found something. And if you open the result, you, then you can see category as space separator. So whatever space separator we have, that will be considered as white space and strip method will remove those things. So that is the major difference between strip and trim method. If you have any doubt, please comment on this video. If you really like my videos, please like, comment, subscribe and share with others. Thank you everyone.